We now have the ability to extract a CSV file from the KM platform and import it into Coin Tracking Tax Reporting app. So there's a helpful um, knowledge base article here uh, that walks you through how to do that. Um, you've got uh, the export here. Um, the option that we want is actually just at the bottom of this list. And once you've downloaded that CSV file, you can then import it into coin tracking uh, via this route here. Okay, so I'm going to show you what I did. Um, when you set up your coin tracking account, it's pretty simple. The only things you really need are a username and a password, <coughs> optional email, um, but you need to put in your currency. Okay, I'm going to show you a slimmed down version of my extract file. Um, we have here um, a deposit coming in from uh, minting and that was then sold on the exchange um, for this number of dollars. Um, we've got a couple of yield distributions, uh, one KAG coming into the account and going out of the account. Now, if you've minted uh, you're going to need to gather information from your Mint account. The easiest way to do this is to in the Mint account to run the reports uh, and download the uh, transaction history. Make sure that you put in a date range that encompasses all of your trades. So <clears throat> I've highlighted uh, just a single trade here. Um, this was a mint for 100 KAU and that was what it was bought for. Okay, uh, if you've minted via a wallet then you're going to need also to capture the, at least the withdrawal um, transactions from that wallet. Uh, that way we can capture the withdrawal fees um, within the tax calculations. So the way that I've done this, and this will work for regardless of which wallet you used, um, is to go into the Explorer, search for the wallet address that you minted to, and the transactions that you're particularly interested in are the, fr uh, are the from your wallet transactions, i.e. the withdrawals. So what I've done here is to copy the format of the uh, CSV extract. Um, I've then captured the minting um, here in this trade record, um, taking the values from the transaction history record. Uh, the date here is in the same format. Uh, as required but you'll need to append UGC. Um, the date from the uh, Explorer is in a different format you'll just need to rekey that um, in this format. So I've used uh, two different um, descriptions here in the exchange uh, to keep these transactions identif easily identifiable. Um, for the withdrawal transaction, I've actually added the fee to the amount to get us back to the gross amount uh, that was actually sent out, sent from the wallet. Okay, so we'll now go to back to coin tracking and we'll load up these files. So, firstly, the extract file, and that looks okay to me. Start the import, and it's done. Right, I'm going to go back and import the next one. Okay, so this is my mint and wallet transactions. 
I'm only expecting two, so there we go. Right. Okay, now we click on Enter Coins, <clears throat> and we can see all of our data there. For the trade transactions, Coin Tracking has got all the information it needs to work out the unit values of KU. For the income records, uh, it would normally look on Coin Market Cap for the value of KU and KAG at the time of the transaction. Um, since KU and KAG aren't on Coin Market Cap yet, uh, we're going to need to enter the values for these records. So I'm going to edit these records. Now, I can enter the actual value in pounds um, by clicking on Edit Asset Value here. So, what value am I going to put in there? Well, what I've chosen to do, this is going to be a little bit of an approximation, but I think it'll be good enough. Um, I'm going to <coughs> use a trading view constructed chart, uh, which is the gold in US dollars per gram uh, divided by my currency. Okay, so here, this was the date. I'm just going to take the closing value for that date. So it's 41.99. So 41.99 times 0 0.0096. Seven. Okay, so that's basically 41 pence. And I'll update that record. Do the same for the holder yield. Um, <coughs> So in this case, we've got a closing value of uh, 41.57. And the KAU amount of 65 pence there. Update that. Okay, so we've also got um, one KAG coming into the account and going out of the account. Now, this was actually sent to me by somebody else, and then I sent it on to another account. So I'm going to relabel these as <coughs> income and a spend. Coin tracking assumes that all withdrawals and deposits are to your own account, so they're not included in the income or the capital gains report. Changing these um, will include them in those reports. Okay, so we change this one to income. Now, again, I need a value of 1 kAG. I've got a chart here, um, XAG GBP. And on that day, 18 at 89 pounds. that and change this one to a spend. It's on the same day so I'm going to use the same value. Okay so now we have all of our records updated. Um, I'm going to recalculate the trades. 
and now we can go and run the tax report. So I'm in the UK, so I'm using uh, this HMRC method. Um, I'm going to run it first for tax year 2020. And here's the, the threshold for uh, free use of the app. Generate the tax report, I'll load it. Now I'm going to just concentrate on the capital gains report and the income report because those are the two that I'm going to need to submit. Okay, so here we have the KAU that we minted to get our cost basis and that we sold on the exchange and that was the loss that we incurred. So here is the withdrawal fee from the uh, minting wallet. Um, that was the cost of it and that translates into a, a loss. Um, so we have here the total cost basis, total proceeds and the total uh, loss in, the, in our case. Okay, if we look at the income report, uh, then we have that one KAG coming in, and that's our total income. So, just going back to the capital gains report, that one KAG was then spent, and the income cost basis was there. This is the spend, and there's no gain or loss. Okay, so we also have this detailed calculation which you'd probably want to uh, pass on to your tax advisor or uh, attach to your revenue, your tax return. Um, you can look at this in more detail yourself, but essentially. Uh, it shows you exactly how the calculation has been done to arrive at your capital gains. <clears throat> now, we did have the yield uh, in the actual in the next tax year, so I'm going to run the report for the next tax year here. And we'll have a quick look at that. No trades, so no capital gains. And here are our two um, yield distributions and our total income for that next tax year. Okay, I think that's about it. Um, so I think this is a great step forward that we have the ability to to download the uh, information from the KM platform, um, upload it very simply into coin tracking and get our tax reports done. Yes, there's some uh, manual inputs required, uh, but I'm sure these will reduce over time. Uh, for instance, as the uh, Mint integration is done into the KM platform. <coughs>